guys it's jen welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another video i'm not looking too fancy today i have just got done with being at a swimmy all day it is saturday evening but i wanted to post a video and share it with you guys i am sharing a uh, healthier i guess i'm calling it grocery haul from a grocery store that's about 45 minutes away from me it's in a different town than i live it's called new pioneer co-op it is um sort of like i would say it's a co-op but it's like a large um, farmers market slash grocery store so they have local produce um, you know locally owned brands things like that and it is not inexpensive uh, but I wanted to go there and find some healthy options and snacks uh, because I've been watching a lot of documentaries the past couple weeks and there have been a couple that have had a profound impact on my way of thinking uh, the first one is called fed up and it is a documentary that I believe I've actually watched before several years ago um, it's about the food industry in America and basically the rise of processed food in this country as a result of what happened you know during World War two and basically in the process of the government trying to make food more convenient and more affordable for everyone which they have successfully done that um, you know the cost of our food compared to our income has gone down uh, it has had drastic negative health health consequences <laughs> I can't talk uh, for our country and so while the cost of food relative to our income is going down the cost of health care is going up because of all of these weight related illnesses that our society has you know heart attacks strokes diabetes all of these things and so as I started to watch all of these documentaries and I'll link some of them down below I really started to think about the type of food that I buy for my family and the type of food that I consume myself and I would say that if I was being honest, on a scale of one to 10, with 10 being you know, the most healthy things that I can buy and zero being the least healthy, I would say I'm probably at a five or a six out of 10. Um, you know, I buy, I would say a fair amount of produce, but I also buy processed foods, you know? I buy cereal, I buy chips, I buy Pop-Tarts sometimes, I buy ice cream, stuff like that. Um, and that's not, really what I should be doing <laughs> like I shouldn't be uh, having that stuff in my house on a regular basis because it's empty calories and it contributes to weight gain and I just I just don't I don't feel like I should be doing that anymore so you know one thing I wanted to say is that I I'm very interested in the statistics and science around nutrition and obesity and all of these things and so I looked some of this up and I can link the website down below it's from the NIH um, I think that sometimes when you're overweight it is seen as a moral failing right you just don't have the willpower you are too stupid to uh, know what good nutrition looks like you're too lazy you're too this you're too that it's just like you fail right but really when you look at the statistics it doesn't lend itself to that type of thinking. So looking at the data right now, and this is the most recent data that's on the NIH website, 70% um, of all adults in the United States are either overweight or obese. So that means less than a third of people in this country can successfully control their weight. So what is wrong? <laughs> like what is wrong with this picture this is more than just a moral failing right this is a problem with the system and the processes that we have in this country and i really don't have enough time in this video to go over all of the things this entails but like i said i'll link all of the resources down below that i um, looked at to kind of inform my decision you know and this is something that i've known obviously i know that processed food isn't uh, good for your health, but I watched this one video where they really talked about how fast food and processed food is designed in a lab to basically have addictive properties. So just like alcohol or cigarettes or drugs or something like that, you know, this type of food is designed to override our body's natural systems to be able to tell us when we're full you know that's why it's really hard for you to overeat you know carrots and hummus uh, versus a bag of potato chips right it's that it's that combination of uh, macronutrients that is 
really telling your body like eat more 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 you're not full yet you're not full yet versus eating nutritious foods um you know you can kind of feel that fullness and be satisfied more quickly with less calories and so all that to say i want to make some changes in mine and my family's diet i want to make some changes in the types of groceries that i buy and the types of food that i cook and so i just kind of wanted to say that is as an introduction um, to this video so i would be um, curious to know you guys' thoughts down below um, if you could rate yourself honestly on a scale from zero to ten ten being the healthiest and zero being the most <laughs> unhealthy uh with the caveat that healthy means different things to everyone i realize that um but what is your rating as far as you would give yourself on a scale from one to ten are you at a five or a six like me are you at a nine or a ten are you at a two or a three no judgment i would just be curious <laughs> as to what you guys think uh you know i would say i'm at a five or a six right now ideally i'd like to be at a nine you know an eight or a nine i think that would be much better um am i saying that i'm never gonna have a pizza night again am i saying that i'm never gonna have mac and cheese again that we're never gonna have ice cream again oh my gosh no i have a phd in dieting after struggling with my weight for you know the last 20 plus years <laughs> of my life and i can honestly say that i um, I'm not a fan of restrictive diets and I know that there are a lot of you know trends that go on especially on YouTube and in nutrition about keto and Weight Watchers and this and that and the other and they can be wonderful tools for people to lose weight um, but losing weight and sustaining weight loss and sustaining your health are sort of two different things and so I'm not really interested in making changes that we can't carry on for the long term, if that makes sense. So if I were to say, nope, we're never going to eat any refined carbs of any kind ever again, that's just not realistic to me because, um, you know, we're going to have birthday cake and, you know, there, <laughs> there are times when, of course, we're going to eat those things. Um, and so I kind of just wanted to throw this out there as a means of um, me letting you know what I'm thinking. Maybe this will inspire you to um, think about the same thing. I have talked to Adam about it. He is very supportive. He um, basically eats whatever I cook. <laughs> So, you know, he's he's fine with it. Um, the main thing that I really want to do if I were to talk about my goals in concrete terms are just to not have so many simple carbs in our diet. And what I mean by that is um, having white pasta with nothing else, you know, having white pasta with bread, um, you know, having simple carbs without uh you know any other macronutrients in that meal for example like spaghetti and garlic bread um you know you have white pasta you have a little bit of tomato sauce you have white bread probably white bread if you're having garlic bread and you have some protein but there's really not a whole lot of fiber in that meal and so one of my friends actually is a dietitian and i was talking to her about this um, and carbs are digested differently in the body when they are combined with fiber. Um, so for example, you could have 100 calories of Skittles and you could have 100 calories of carrots and hummus. Let's just use that example. So, you know, when people say a calorie is a calorie, yes, that's true. However, when you eat the 100 calories of Skittles, your blood sugar is going to spike, then it's going to crash. And you're going to be hungry an hour later versus if you eat 100 calories of carrots and hummus that is going to not only give you carbs you're also going to get fat from the olive oil fat from the tahini and you're also going to get fiber from both the chickpeas and the carrots and so those are the kind of changes that i'm talking about you know instead of buying chips buying popcorn uh, to snack on instead of buying white pasta buying whole wheat pasta instead of buying which I don't really buy a lot of white bread but instead of buying just like the white you know wheat bread buying the whole wheat bread those types of things and really focusing on getting more um, fruits and veggies into our meals every day and so I don't know if that's helpful <laughs> um, or not but those are the kind of things that I'm thinking um, so I've probably rambled on for long enough now but I would love to hear your thoughts down below um, I don't have a specific goal as far as like how much weight do I want to lose um, 
you know obviously yes I need to and I would like to lose weight however I want to look at it in terms of what lifestyle changes and I know that sounds cliche but like what lifestyle changes or habits you know small habits can I really institute in order to have long-term success because that's what it's all about in anything that you want to be successful at I mean it all comes down to your habits right and so even when you're talking about exercise and that's a whole nother thing I could talk about but I'm not <laughs> gonna talk about it in this video um, it's how do you make it a habit how do you make it so that you know going for a walk every day is just the same as brushing your teeth it's non-negotiable right um, and so that's the kind of change that I'm talking about and so I just wanted to <laughs> let you guys know that before I started this video but yes I went to New Pine near um, basically my goal was to look for um, more nutrient dense items kind of just like I talked about I didn't really go in with a list or anything that's kind of one of those grocery stores that I don't often shop at and so sometimes I just like to go in there and check out what they have um, try some new items or like a Trader Joe's <laughs> type deal so I hope that you enjoy this uh, grocery haul and let me know your thoughts down below Let's just do what you want to Please don't be polite Cause I like your attitude Let's forget about a curfew Cause all that is stuck in my head It's me and you Hold speed and my heart is racing But I'm not sure I wanna place it Cause it only does this with you Our bodies meet, I can feel the tension Move us into the next dimension Let's just let our bodies be true So here's everything that I got from New Pie. I have not been there in so long. So basically I just wandered down every aisle and picked up some things that I needed and some things that I saw that I thought we would like. So we'll start over here. I actually got some of the Topo Chico um, sparkling water. This is super hard to find around here. I remember um, the year before last when I had traveled to Texas several times for work that it would I could find it in Texas a lot. But here in the Midwest, it's difficult to find, or at least in my area it is. And they had this uh, twist of lime flavor. They actually had a grapefruit one also, but I decided to get the lime one. So I'll put that in the fridge and have that uh, later this week. I did pick up a few um, sugar-free mixes. So this one is by Miss Jones Baking Company. I've never seen this brand before. It's a keto and paleo um, brownie mix. So I think you just mix this with yeah, egg, milk, and butter, um, and then you can use water or nut milk if you're doing paleo, but I thought we would try this. I'm always looking for sugar-free, like lower sugar and lower carb baking mixes, so I thought we would try that. And then I saw this before, I think maybe on Dr. Dre's channel. Um, she does vlogs every weekend, and I think she had one of these Swerve mixes one time, but this is the vanilla cake mix. And I thought this would be good to do maybe like a make the vanilla cake and then do like some um, whipped cream and some strawberries, kind of like a lower sugar strawberry shortcake. I thought that would be good. Um, okay, so they had this Nancy's grass-fed yogurt, and I have had this brand of cream cheese before. I've actually gotten it in my Imperfect Foods box, and the cream cheese is really, really good. They only had two flavors of this. They had blueberry lavender and this ginger peach, which, which sounds really good. I don't know if the kids will eat these, but if they don't, um, I will. So I thought those looked good. And then I did pick up some of this original barbecue sauce. This is from Jimmy Jack's Rib Shack, which is an Iowa City restaurant. And I guess I didn't realize they had their own, like they sold their own barbecue sauce. We haven't eaten in there in forever. And they had several different kinds. I think they had four different kinds, but I just went ahead and went with the original. So we'll try that out. Um, I also got some salsa. So this is Double Take Salsa Company, which I've never seen before. 
bewitched black bean salsa. They had several different flavors. Um, they had like a chipotle and a corn salsa, but I thought this was good. I usually like black bean salsa, and I also got some chips, which I'll show you in a minute. So got that, and then I got these for Adam. He really likes green olives, and I don't care, I don't care for them. I really only like black olives, but these are Bloody Mary. Uh, flavored olives so I thought that he would um, enjoy those for a snack olives are pretty um, low carb and low sugar so got those for him I grabbed some parsley this is probably going to be for some tabbouleh I was talking about it this weekend in a different video and I was like oh that sounds good I haven't made that in a long time so I'll probably make that and share it with you guys later on in the week I also got some mozzarella pearls. I actually ordered these with my grocery delivery last week and they said they were out of stock, um, but I wanted some to make some caprese salad, so I picked those up. And then this is really good, this cork cheese. I don't know if this is like local um, here in Iowa, but it's for Milton Creamery and it's like a soft cheese. Um, it's not really, it's like tangier than cream cheese. I don't really know how to explain it, um, but it's really good if you spread it on whole wheat bread or it's also really good on crackers. Um, so I thought I would get that. I The only time I really get this is when I go there to New Pie because that's the only place <laughs> I can find that has it around here. I got some of these um, Nix sticks for probably Adam to try. There's one that's turkey spicy beef regular beef and then uh, spicy chicken um, so i thought he would enjoy those i did also pick up some blueberries i ordered berries in my grocery order this past weekend they said they were out of stock and did not substitute them so um, i picked these up for the kids and then this well i wouldn't really call this healthy but <laughs> this is how do you say this guitard i should have i should have looked how to um, pronounce it before Guitard. Guitard. This is milk chocolate baking chips, and this is like a really high quality chocolate. Um, I can't find this around here where I live, and this, this would be like something that Ina Garten would use, and she'd be like, use good chocolate chips, right? <laughs> it's got three quarters of a cup of cocoa powder, dark chocolate cocoa powder. Mm, it smells so good. So I thought I would just have those in the pantry. I don't have a plan for them, but sometimes when I see like stuff like this for baking, I go ahead and pick it up because like I said, it's hard for me to find that kind of stuff. Um, I did get some Dave's Killer Bread. This is another thing that is usually in short supply around here, but I went ahead and got the 100% whole wheat. Um, this has per slice, and they're big slices, 100 calories and three grams of fiber per slice, which is really good for bread. So. I thought we would use that for like toast and sandwiches. I also got some spinach. So I do have my hydroponic garden that I grow greens from, but Kira in particular really likes regular spinach. And then I put these put this in my smoothies also. So I went ahead and picked this up. Um, I just got one of the smaller tubs so that it wouldn't go to waste. But I do, once we're done eating on this in the fridge, I throw it in a bag and throw it in the freezer. And then I can use it in my smoothies. I also got a bag of these Lily's milk chocolate peanut butter cups. Um, Adam really likes these. They are lower in carbs and sugar, obviously, than <laughs> Reese's. Let me know if you guys have tried these and you like them. I think they're pretty good. I also got one of these at Primal Kitchen frozen dinners. I have never seen these in any of my grocery stores here in town. This is the chicken curry. Um, it looks like it has broccoli in it, and I don't know, I just thought it looked good. I love curry-type dishes, so I'll probably have that for lunch next week. I also got a couple of portobello mushrooms. Adam really likes these. I'm maybe going to roast them in the oven tonight for supper. I'm not sure, but that's probably what I'll do with them is just season them and roast them, and he can eat them along with his dinner tonight. Uh, okay, so this is another local Iowa City restaurant, this Oasis. They have the best hummus. I don't know what they do to it, but it's so delicious. And I hardly ever buy it because normally I just make my own, but I saw this and I couldn't pass it up. So got that and I probably eat that with either like cucumbers or pita. I got one avocado. Um, I saw these wraps and I thought that they looked good. They are whole wheat flour tortillas. Stacy's Big Organic Whole Wheat Flour Tortillas. Um, I buy wraps quite a bit 
for, you know, like the kids to take to school and stuff. And then sometimes I buy them for um, breakfast burritos and things like that. But these are probably going to taste way better than <laughs> the Mission ones that are in the package since they're home homemade. Um, so I thought we would try those. They actually have four grams of fiber per tortilla. So I thought that was pretty good. Um, I was looking through the frozen waffles. That's something that my kids will eat every so often for breakfast. And I decided to get these Vans 8 Whole Grains Multigrain Waffles. So the nutrition facts on these are two waffles for 160 calories, um, only three grams of added sugar and four grams of fiber. So obviously that's better than like an Eggo waffle, which is typically what I buy just like the cheap stuff. I know this is something that I could make on my own, especially like with whole wheat flour and stuff, but sometimes in my life I just have to decide to go with convenience once in a while. I'm sure you guys can understand that being a busy mom, a busy working mom, a busy working person, whatever. Um, sometimes you just have to go for the quick stuff, but I thought this was a pretty decent choice. I don't think we've tried this particular flavor before. I'm pretty sure I've tried this brand, but I can't remember for sure. Um, and then I did also get some of the Alexia sweet potato fries. I've seen these in my area, but not the waffle fry ones. And my kids really like waffle fries. So I thought we could try these out. I'm not a huge fan of sweet potatoes, but I will eat sweet potato fries and the kids really like them. I also got some strawberries. They're not looking too hot, but that was another thing that I didn't get with my grocery order this weekend. Um, these happen to be organic and they were the last package in the store. So I was glad to get those. And then last but not least are some of these late July sea salt uh, tortilla chips. I've ordered these from Thrive before and they are delicious. So I got those to go with the black bean salsa. So yeah, that is what I got from the uh, co-op. All right guys, so that is gonna be it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching this uh, healthy grocery haul. And I say healthy in quotes because I know that means different things to different people. Uh, but I do appreciate you being here and I appreciate your support. And like I said earlier, I would love to uh, know your thoughts on this down below. I would love to know how, um, if this has made you start thinking about how to make some change in your own family's diets, how can we support one another? Should we have some type of challenge or collab? Is there a certain type of meal prep video you'd like to see? Any of those things um, that you have ideas about how we can support each other, I would love to hear it. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye. I'll never let this end.